Sup, nerds? Trog. As a matter of fact, it's weird because I was getting ready to play this game and I was watching this at the same time. Second time I ever touched this game. As an adult, I'm, I'm, because of my mass library of games, I'm able to play stuff that I never even knew about. And Trog was one of those games. It was a later release. I don't know. You're a dinosaur. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You basically go around collecting yeah. packs. What did you want for and me? it's like a Pac-Man type. What happened? I went into the water. Damn it. Power ups just like a Pac-Man. You got your dude. Get big. You go around and get caveman. Trying to whack you with, uh, oh yeah, you can get is that, is that the power up? With yourself, and it's actually a really oh my god, the mushroom don't do it. Have a second person with you. It must be um, the other two plants. Have to work together to a degree, or or challenge each other unless you get the highest score. Hidden gem for sure, definitely a hidden gem on the NES. Well, yeah, speed gem. All right. That's good. Monster in my pocket. Monster in my pocket is. One of the better co-op games on the NES. All right. Based on the toy line that came out in '89. Yes. That's pretty cute. I'm looking on the shelf and I find the game Wampum. Where are you at on Wampum? Ten bucks. Wampum is a platforming game, and the levels are 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 based well, on elements, fire, etc. And it's Damn it! Games where after you beat a level, you get a new weapon, similar to Mega Man. But I'm not like gonna go eBay prices or anything like that. Matty J. Matty J was just in the oh, yeah, chat earlier. Just chat. It's always been one that I've kind of wanted to check out because, I mean, listen to the title. It's kind of hard to fucking see. That sounds amazing. Let me get the Wampum. Do you have it? I have it. Do you have it? 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 Where's, oh, I must, I didn't see these guys. Try to see them, man. And I fell in the fucking water again. So you can go through the tar pits, but they can't, I guess. The Aladdin deck enhancer is similar to the Super Game Boy cartridge attachment, where basically you put the game and put the cartridge inside. Okay, you can't go there. You put that whole thing inside the NES. It was a device that got around. Damn it! I didn't mean to go that way. What it's supposed to do is basically allow you to play these NES games that weren't made like NES cartridges. That, that's simple. It's not like a game genie where you throw it in and you have, you know, you plug and coach or anything like that. It doesn't give you any kind of competitive edge. Damn these motherfuckers. It you to play these miniature games made for the NES. Hey, if you buy this device, you can buy our games, which are only $19.99. So they are $20 games. They're way cheaper than retail NES games. So if you're really good, if you buy this, you can buy cheaper games, you can save money. Right in the water. Unfortunately, I think only like seven games came out for it, and it basically shut down the America and the company with it with a huge bust. Well, the Aladdin Deck and Answer is an uh, apparatus that. Well, time. Damn it. This is, I guess you could call it a McDonald's game. 
We got the kids. Hold on, where am I? This one, we didn't get. Oh, man. That sucks. Anyways, guys. That's Trog. I like it. I'm going to be playing it a lot more. Might do it on a live stream soon, so. Peace, nerds.